I'm John Hyatt, by title, Professor John Hyatt, at Manchester Metropolitan University, where I'm director of Myriad, which is the Manchester Institute for Research and Innovation in Art and Design, but primarily as a person rather than a job. Um, I'm an artist and a musician. I went to Leeds University in 1977 to 81 and studied fine art and whilst I was there formed a band and then everyone finished their course and went to London and there were three of us left, John Langford from the Mekong, was me from another colour a guy called John Diamond and we were sitting in the pub saying well what should we do and we were all called John so we formed a band called The Three Johns. The art took off as a sort of career in 1984 the selectors for something called the British Art Show came round and they asked for my painting, which was called Art Wars. They made that the catalogue cover and the poster, and I was paid to go down to London and write the British Art Show in my handwriting in paint, and I got paid 50 quid for writing it, and I thought, this is it, I've made it. And then, of course, nothing happened then for years. The band stopped playing in 1991 just because we were tired and we wanted to do other things. Uh, it's when I got the job as head of the Department of Fine Arts at Manchester, on the Technic as it was, Manchester Metropolitan now. Um, but we're also having children and that makes a big difference. You can't go doing 20 American cities in 21 days with little kids at home, you know. So we didn't actually split up, we just didn't organise any more gigs until recently, the last few years, we've started gigging again and we've done some new recording. I think you could say that I am the person whose life was saved by rock and roll in the sense that um, we had a week long Three Johns tour coming up and I, I felt a slight lump in my throat and I thought I won't be able to sing for a week unless I get this sorted out. So, unusually, I went to the doctors. The nurse practitioner saw me and she felt my neck and rushed me straight to Preston Royal Hospital where they did some tests and told me I got throat cancer. So I did quite a lot of paintings at that time, um, like the festival painting, which is about me not being able to go to festivals. So I, every day I kept painting. Something strange happens when you get so low that you reach a place where you're in touch with some sort of source of creativity. So after nearly dying, I can just turn creativity on like a tap. Everybody sends you messages as though you've died. It's the thing that they always wanted to tell you about. So I got a lot of ex-students saying, you know, you really changed my life sort of thing. So the things that would happen after your death happen without you dying. So I think nearly dying was the highlight of my life. 